Hey everyone, Jesse here with Ultratech. I work as an IT system admin and have been using Outlook for many years. And I also help people resolve issues with Outlook as part of my job. In today's video, I want to show you features and tips that you should take advantage of when using Microsoft Outlook. I've noticed many times users are unaware you can do some of these things, but they can save you time, your eyes, and frustrations. Some of these will be beginner level features, as well as more advanced ones, so make sure to stick around for the entire video. And also because these features build on each other as I go along. Let's get started. Microsoft has always offered some themes with an Outlook, but they were always very similar to the classic white. As of June 2019, Microsoft introduced dark mode. I had been begging for this feature for years and it has helped me so much with iStream, especially when you're on the computer all day. To enable this, go to File, Options, under General, and under Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. For Office theme, you have options for dark gray, black, white, or colorful. You want to choose black, hit OK. If you don't see this option, you probably need a newer version of Outlook, such as the subscription one of Microsoft 365. By default, when your enterprise organization assigns you a mailbox or when you create one with Gmail or any other vendor, you'll get default folders created such as inbox, deleted items, sent items, etc. What some people don't know is that you can create additional folders that will allow you to organize email messages, calendars, your contacts, and even tasks. To create a folder in the left pane of your mailbox, right click wherever you want to add the folder and click new folder. And name to whatever you want, such as the name of a project, person, or events. For example, I work with many vendors and I like to create folders for each vendor, such as Verizon, Newegg, and some for certain departments. I will make one called Verizon. As you can see, a new folder called Verizon has been created. You can manually move emails by dragging them into this new folder, but you can also automate this using Outlook rules. You can see this email is now here, but let me, let's talk about rules. A very powerful feature of Outlook is being able to automate how your email gets organized when it comes in. In the previous feature, we created a folder called Verizon. In this example, I'll create a rule that automatically moves any email that comes in from that sender and gets placed in that folder instead of your inbox. To do this, right click on the email, hit rules, and we're going to pretend this is from Verizon, but it's actually from my test mailbox. So you can choose always move messages from Jesse Sanchez. And here you want to choose a folder do you want to move it to? We want to move it to the folder we created before called Verizon. Hit OK. So now every time any emails come in from that sender, it'll automatically get moved to this new folder that we created this. You can accomplish this and many more options by going to rules, manage rules and alerts, and you can create a new rule here. Other rules you can do can include moving messages from someone, a distribution group, uh, email with specific words, and apply to messages received or messages sent. I recommend spending more time on this to experiment with the many options. Don't be scared, you can always move email messages back and delete the rules if they don't work. I deleted 
that and then I can move this email back to my inbox. Well, you can use a feature that auto archives built into Outlook. I recommend to manually archive your email since I've always seen issues with the auto archive where it just stops working and it leaves people confused and frustrated. I'll show you how to do both. To auto archive, go to file, options, advanced, under auto archive, click auto archive settings. And here you can run it every certain amount of days and choose where to move them to and any other options. My preferred method is to manually create a PST file or personal folders file, which is an Outlook data file used to store local copies of your emails. Both auto archive and the manual method involve the creation of a PST file. To do this, go to new items, more items, Outlook data file. We're going to give this a file name, for example, 2022 and hit okay. I always rename it to the year I'm archiving. To do this, right click the archive name, click data file properties under advanced. Here's where you can rename it. And as you can see, the new name is changed. Once the archive is renamed, I like to create additional folders that are similar to my mailbox. So here we're going to create a new folder called sent items. And once we're ready to archive, we want to move these emails here by holding shift, selecting a whole month. And then you want to drag them under either deleted items or if you want to create a new folder called inbox it's up to you and these emails are now archived on that pst file when you add a mailbox by default outlook enables cache mode which saves a copy of your mailbox to your computer this is convenient when you don't have an internet and want to look at emails but if you want to have less issues with syncing and have your full mailbox appear instantly, you can disable this by going to File, Account Settings, Account Setting, double click on your mailbox name and uncheck Use Cached Mode. Hit Next, hit Done, Close. And when you reopen Outlook, Cache Mode will be disabled. This is a good trick also if you are having issues, you can just temporarily disable cache mode, then re-enable it again. And that'll solve any sync issues for, for the most part. When you install programs such as Zoom, Acrobat, and other apps, still many times install an add-in to integrate with Outlook. Well, this can be beneficial if you use these features inside of Outlook. But I personally don't like to add too many of these as it slows down Outlook and could cause issues. To remove add-ins, go to File, Options, under Add-ins, under Manage, Com Add-ins, hit Go. Here, you need to remove anything you don't think you need to use. You can leave your antivirus at those usually will scan your emails for viruses. Hit OK. And when you reload Outlook, the plugins will not be loaded anymore. I hope this video has helped you take advantage of Outlook and saves you some time with your email. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more tech content. Until next time. <music>